Hey guys, it's old folks. So I, I did a video on passing 120 at level 76 in the Crystal Dungeon. Uh, a difficult task, at, uh, even in the 80s, uh, 85s, 86s for some people, uh, again, that don't have certain characters. And I've been talking with some friends and I've been just doing some thinking about, you know, choices and who we get as we pursue our VIP levels, as we pursue our characters. How do I want to invest my gems? You know, I, I got a son um, who's 12. You've seen him in one of the videos in the background and plays on the server with me. And he got four techs. Um, he's almost four stars. He's not. But he'd been saving his gems. He'd been saving his gems. I bought him a few. Not a lot, but he'd been saving them. And when Vortex came, you know, he, he played with the strategy. He did 30, 30, 30 every day. Um, right before it ended, you know, somebody a couple of hours before had pulled ahead. So 20 seconds to spare, he blows the rest that he's got and um, ends up getting the free Vortex um, full character so he can use all the ones he's collected over five days uh, to get almost a four-star Vortex. And I thought, man, you know, I'm, I'm looking back now and I'm asking myself, wow, did I make good choices in how I built my team? And so I'm going to be honest as I think about legendaries and how I spend my gems. Could I have done it better? And I come to the realization that, you know, I, I've done a few things well and I've done a few things wrong. First of all, I've always said if you're going to go big, go big from the start. Go ahead, hit that 90,000 gems and get your free um, monkey, your monk son. Um, I didn't do that. I should have done that because in doing so I'm going to save 80 soul stones. Well, 80 soul stones at 320 a pop per three, kind of figure out real quick, you know, I'm, I'm saving a good chunk of soul stones. I'm saving a good chunk of gems that I'm already planning on spending. So made a poor choice there, but we'll leave that alone. Um, from there, you know, the question is then do I pursue the Edwins? Do I pursue the Teresas and, you know, the Lilith and all that? You know, Edwin's a great character, requires a team to be built around him, but now you've got Crash who you can get his soul stones for free. Well, not for free, but you can get his soul stones now. Who can shut him down? Um, some people are actually running Crash now as kind of the versus Sebastian just because of his large ultimate, his debuff speed for the other team, and then his one for himself. There's some debate. I won't get into that here. But you've got a legendary that you can drop hundreds of dollars on, shut down by a free. Um... And you built a team around. So not only have you got Edwin, you got Teresa to help with Edwin, and now none of that's really worthwhile. Two characters you, you kind of built that you don't necessarily need. Now, I like Teresa. I think she's phenomenal, and I think she has a lot of good uses, especially for Crystal Dungeon, especially for those other uh, arena options for especially countering um, people's ultimates. But at that point, could you have foregone both of them? Uh, Lilith is a great character in her own right mind. Uh, isn't necessarily considered as good by some, but she is phenomenal. She does great damage, has great sustain. Heaven forbid she has a healer or something with her, <laughs> or a Merlin, anything like that that allows her to life steal more. She gets real crazy. So suddenly, out of these... Um, you know, four legendary heroes that I have here, I start to ask myself, was Edwin and Teresa really worth it? Could I have saved my gems, waited for Vortex to come out, because he's going to come out on a new server, made sure I got him, which, you know, I know I'm going to have to spend what I'm going to spend, which is basically what I'm going to be spending on an Edwin, which is going to put me real close right at the same amount for a five-star, uh, unless, it, you know, it gets into this huge bidding war, you know, where everybody's doing that, but I mean, what do you do? Um, you know, at that point, if I've got to choose Edwin over Vortex, well, I'm going to pick Vortex every day of the week and uh, twice on Sunday, if you know that old saying. And then that leaves me with Teresa. Well, then should I have invested in Teresa? You know, well, that's kind of debatable. Yes, no, maybe so. You know, I, I can't really say no for sure. Um, but then if I don't do that, then I'm not investing one, the stamina for all their soul stones. I'm not investing or for all their, um, runes. I'm not investing the gems or the books in for their dots. So how much could I theoretically really save by not going that path? Because if I look at my team now in the arena, 
I am running these two. I potentially swap them out um, periodically. I'll put a Blaine in here or you know someone along those lines. So I, I am changing my team to some degree. Um, do I have to have them? Well, I may not be as powerful at first in the arena. You know, I may not have that um, that power at the beginning, but as the game progresses, I'm going to lose some of those heroes. I'm not going to use some of those heroes. So where could I better spend it? Again, you know, I talked about it a little bit, you know, wishing pool. What really matters is timing the days of the hero that you want right here to really um, build up those characters that you want and need to get them the stars that they're going to have to have to be successful. Doing that provides me more gems to really focus on the heroes that I want. More gems to get monks on to work towards a gold star. More gems if I want on a Lila to get her a gold star. Again, focusing on that uh, gives me more opportunities um, in the Soul Stone wishing area uh, here to say when I'm doing this, maybe I want to char him because he's got an awakening skill. And maybe I do want to pick up the person next to him. Um, you know, that, that provides a lot of opportunity there uh, to how I want to focus on my gems. Uh, it also gives me the ability as I look at my heroes, you know, Ariel, you know, good all around, going to be great all around. You're going to see her uh, a lot more compared to when you're seeing Crash um, versus Edwin. And so, you know, are we, are we, as the game progresses, I see a lot of guys that are remaking on new servers, just like I did. Um, we ask ourselves, could I have done it better? <laughs> And the, and the answer is yes. Um, I could have done it better. I could have planned a little bit better. Even coming into this server, um, you know, uh, I've held the first place for basically over a month, month and a week, month and two weeks, whatever it's been. Uh, I've gained the gems from it. But in the end, you know, could I have held first through fifth somewhere in there? You know, yeah. You know, I could have spent more on stamina or however you want to do it. Now, I just want you to think about that. Think about how you spend it. If you're going to be a high legendary um, VIP player, think about how you're going to spend your gems. Think about the team composition you want down the road. I know I want gears. So I picked days that had gears and I went for it. Um, I know I want um, some of the other heroes here. And again, I did the same things there. Um, and so by doing that, that allows you to really minimize the... Um, expenditure that you don't have to spend um, you know it's like Ariel I, I picked up Ariel now three times from the treasure event um, 90 you know 90 soul stones plus all the others uh, plus all the gold you know, plus all the runes all those things you know that kind of add up so I've kind of said you know hey I can I can kind of work it here pick up some stuff there and not drop as much you know in, in the sense of inside the the wishing pool Give me your thoughts. Um, it's a little bit of rambling, but I really want you to think about, I want us all to think about how could we really maximize the best team with the fewest gems um, that's going to keep us happy. Now, obviously, as I'm winding down here, obviously with Subterra um, coming into this, you're really going to need a, a great solid line across multiple characters. Some are going to say, well, if I don't have, if I don't have Edwin, how am I ever going to beat uh, Gronk, you know, because you know he's one of the recommended um, heroes. You know, I got, I got to fly, I got to fly. You know, or what about this, or what about that? And you know, you know, I, I don't know. All I can tell you is, if you could save yourself fifty thousand gems, sixty thousand gems, would you do it? If you could still beat it, I think the answer would still be yes. So, share your thoughts, share your comments. Um, love to hear from you guys. Just. A little bit of thinking while I sat here today, just thinking, hey, you know, what could we do to maybe um, make it a little bit better, make it a little bit uh, more streamlined. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great one, and I will catch you all later.